It's been 10 years since the Great Recession, which is commonly blamed on banks extending too many loans to low-income borrowers with high risk of default, now known as the subprime mortgage crisis. But Manuel Adelino, a finance professor at Duke University's Fuqua School of Business, found that narrative doesn't fit the facts. Adelino and his co-authors reviewed nationwide income, home sales and mortgage data from the years before and during the financial crisis. First, they found there wasn't an explosion of credit offered to lower income borrowers. Credit expanded across the board, most drastically in areas where house prices were rising the most. In fact, they found home ownership rates among the poorest 20% fell during the boom because those buyers were being priced out of the market. Nor did they find the crisis was caused by defaults among subprime borrowers. Instead, Adelino found the numerous bank failures and subsequent recession were caused by middle and high income borrowers, including speculators buying up houses to sell for profit, who began defaulting at unprecedented rates. The researchers found that because lower income borrowers were buying less expensive houses and in smaller numbers, there simply weren't enough of them to topple banks and cause the economy's subsequent collapse. Unfortunately, however, regulators bought into the subprime narrative and reacted by making it harder for lower income Americans to get credit, just as house prices were low. As a result, home ownership among that population has collapsed since the crisis. This has not helped anyone get on the property ladder, and the researchers found it has not added any stability to the banking system either.